The doctors try to get a handle on the spread of COVID. They're also trying to help those still suffering from the disease. And new research suggests that CBDs derived from cannabis could help in the treatment of dangerous lung inflammation related to COVID. Joining us now is the author of this new research, Dr. Mahesh Mahan with the Texas Biomedical Research Institute. Doctor, thank you for spending some time with us. Yeah, thank you for having me on your show. Tell me what you found in your study. How about CBD? What does it do? What are the properties that help maybe with lung inflammation? Uh, yeah, so uh, this is not a study. Uh, it's actually a, a letter to the editor that we submitted um, um, in July um, uh, of last year. Uh, so we have been doing uh, preclinical studies uh, using the uh, non-human primate model of HIV infection uh, for the last 10 to 12 years. Uh, looking at the impact of cannabinoids, uh, in particular uh, THC, which is uh, the, uh, the most psychoactive cannabinoid in the marijuana plant on um, HIV-induced chronic inflammation. Uh, interestingly, uh, we found that long-term THC administration, uh, you know, uh, administ administered at low doses, uh, exerted significant uh, anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic effects. So around mid-February of last year, uh, it became clear that uh, severe COVID disease was driven uh, by a massive cytokine storm uh, resulting in uh, systemic uh, inflammation, you know, blood clots forming uh, in the blood vessels uh, leading to stroke and also uh, lung fibrosis in patients after they recover from the active disease. Well, we so know based on our oh, go ahead. Uh, previous experience, you know, working with the HIV model, we felt that uh, cannabinoids uh, may be beneficial in suppressing the uh, cytokine storm and also reducing um, COVID disease severity. Well, we, so, know, uh, in we, this know that article, we know that CBD has anti-inflammatory properties to it, but you mentioned earlier THC. That's the psychotropic uh, component of cannabis. Is that part of this or is this not THC? Uh, I mean, these are two different cannabinoids present in the, um, in the marijuana plant. Uh, we have done some preclinical studies with THC, but then in this article, we highlighted the uh, importance of CBD. Uh, basically, we highlighted the uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-fibrotic, and more importantly, anxiolytic properties of uh, CBD. And, and again, we, uh, you know, we suggested that CBD could be uh, administered either alone or in combination with uh, THC or both drugs, uh, you know, administered along with uh, antivirals anti like uh, remdesivir. Doctor, do, um, do we know do we know what it is about CBD? I mean, now millions of Americans are taking CBD, and again, CBD is an extract that doesn't get you high. It's just an oil from the from uh, hemp or marijuana. But a lot of people really swear by the anti-inflammatory properties of it. Do we know why it works in that way? Um, I mean, uh, no, unlike THC, you know, I mean, THC binds to two uh, separate receptors in the body, uh, you know, called cannabinoid receptor one and two, and it exerts its anti-inflammatory effects uh, by uh, through cannabinoid receptor two. Uh, however, for CBD, we do not know the exact mechanisms, but several mechanisms have been proposed. Um, uh, you know, there are other receptors that uh, CBD can activate uh, uh, in the in the cell, uh, and and in that way, it can exert uh, its anti-inflammatory and even anti-fibrotic effects. One more thing: if you take CBD, uh, people also talk about the effects of like lowering anxiety and stress. That it has that effect sometimes. Is that a byproduct that that some of the patients who've used this in connection with uh, coronavirus have experienced? Um, no, so CBD uh, in in small randomized clinical trials, uh, it's been shown to um, uh, reduce anxiety in healthy volunteers, in people with social anxiety, uh, in people with risk of developing psychosis, in Parkinson's disease patients, uh, and even in heroin use disorders. Uh, it does affect the, the the serotonin system in the body. So. Um, uh, yes, CBD does have, uh, uh, you know, they have reported anxi uh, anxiolytic effects. Uh, again, larger clinical trials are needed uh, to, yes. to confirm yeah. these effects. Dr. Mohan, thank you so much for your time and uh, continued luck on your research. It's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.